So we've looked at dead baits, now we need to hook up a dead bait. Got the trace, now we sell these ready made so you don't need to worry about making them, but you can also make them. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at hooking the dead bait. So as you hold the trace, that top hook there is going to go in the root of the tail and just want to see it pop out the other side so you know it's in there and this one into the flank push it in push it there and just gently and there you have it so for dead baiting doesn't matter which one of those baits I used I would have it like that now the reason being that pike is going to come down and bite onto there and when it does it's straight away got a treble there straight away but if it sits there and it turns the bait round because they always swallow the bait nearly nearly always swallow the bait head first it's going to turn it down and it's going to be like that and then as you're pulling you're pulling the bait and the trebles the same way out of the mouth that, that they can then catch on the way out and more than likely that is going to catch on the scissors on the way out and if it doesn't then that one will so that's the uh, that's the reason that we uh, we set the dead bait hooks that way when we're ledgering. So another way of hooking dead baits is for when you float fish them. So if you were to float fish how you had it dead baiting, it would hang in the water like that. Now you can hook them like that, okay? And you can hook them off the front like that as well, which we're going to look at again in a minute because basically. If you ever watch roach, sometimes when they sleep, and rudd, they actually sleep like that a lot. It might sound bizarre, but I've watched a lot of fish and, I, and I've seen it many, many, many times, and they sleep like that. So having a float trotting a dead bait like that slowly on the wind, it isn't as unnatural as you'd think it would be. It is actually how a lot of the time the roach will sleep. And of course the pike knows that, that's when it's gonna hammer it. So actually, I do actually hook mine quite a lot like that. But there is another way of doing it, if you wanna have it horizontal. Um, and that's to go through the backbone and you need to be under the backbone because you just won't get any any um, casting ability otherwise you'll just pull straight out and you can only very slowly cast because that's a lot of pressure just to put on the backbone rather than the root of a tail or the, or the head and then what you can do then is, is nick the other hook down in the front there and then what happens then is you can see it's kind of half horizontal if you want to make it more horizontal, you can move it along a bit so that you can get it dead in the middle, so that you can just have it then and it's going to float along. So that's another way of hooking dead baits. So we've spoken about baits. Another thing you can do with baits. Two things I do with baits. One is pop them up. Not all the time, sometimes, especially when there's underlying weeds, so you don't want your bait sitting in the weed and you want them popped up. Uh, they can go on there, those quick change weights, and then you can have them just standing up on their tail so it's a really good little trick um, popping them up anything like a lamprey or, or um, a roach or, or anything like that can be popped up with air so you can actually inject it with air and then that will actually lift it up and, and keep it off the bottom so with the baits I use one of the other things I do is actually color them or with these DNA apex predator range they're amino bait spray so um, Everybody will know that the amino is what the pike are actually picking up on, that smell, you know. So you can use it in red, clear, or the yellowy colour. Now, they're, they're all great in their own right, but I use them in different circumstances in different ways. The clear one I'll use when I'm... I don't want anything too blatant, and I'll inject that inside of them so it looks like an actual bait, but it's actually pumping out loads of amino. Um, or I can do something like use the red one and I can just quite easily spray a bait over the whole bait or half the bait and you've just got that traditional redhead look which is on many lures and um, yeah it's always been a proven catcher so there's a few different things it's limitless what you can do with, with additives really sometimes I dust baits or chopped up fish which is chum in, in krill powder and then put a spray of, of uh, amino uh, all over it there's various things you can do with it. it it's like I say it's limitless so let's have a look at how we do that okay so I'm going to inject this one with air you have to be very, very careful. Never do it on your knee or anything like that. And using a hypodermic needle and a syringe is very dangerous. So be careful. Make sure you're aware who's around you. You can't get knocked or anything like that. Put the needle in and just gently fill that fish with air. 
I tend to do it in two places to make sure lots of air has gone in and then gently pull it out. Now that air there, it might not look a lot, but that is enough to lift up that bait and keep that bait suspended. So that's that one done. So the smelt, I'm just going to inject with some of the amino red bait spray and some air. So I'm going to put that underneath there. Now you can see it blowing up. And now the red amino bait spray is actually going into it. Doesn't matter that you can't see it yet because what it will do, it will have a real slow leakage where it just slowly, slowly, slowly leaks out. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want it spraying everywhere now. You want all of that coming out underneath the water and sending out that bait, bait trail. So you can probably see there's plenty of it there. Hook that on, cast that out. You'll be amazed in the difference. This one here, the middle one. Give it a shake. Put yellow on this one. Spray. Turn it over. Spray. Leave it for a few minutes. And you'll have a bait which is pumping out full of amino, but it's literally different from everybody else's. So that's quite a different bait. Pike are quite inquisitive to new baits and smells. And the only way it can have a proper look at that is to pick it up and put it in its mouth. So there's three different edges. You've got the air colouring from spraying on the outside and injecting into the middle. 